Kyrie Irving is a go as the Brooklyn Nets host the Los Angeles Lakers. Very random fact here. LeBron and Kevin Durant haven't faced off against each other. I'm talking about both guys being healthy since 2018. Very random, but injuries have had their way with these two legends over the years and their potential matchups. The three ball had its way early for the Nets. You saw Kyrie Irving and Patty Mills knock down some trades. Now you the one and Abby with a three of his own. And just like that, Brooklyn's up 19. Nicholas Claxton looking and finding Patty Mills, a little screen as well, doing all the necessary work. Lakers make a run of their own. Russell Westbrook always ready to go. How about Brody inside and then Brody with the dime. And with that dish right there, Westbrook passes by Gary Payton for 10th on the all-time assist list. Lakers make a game of this. How about Thomas Bryan? And his stellar play for the Lakers continues. Bryan inside. Bryan outside. Lakers lead by a deuce. Nets say enough is enough. They put their foot on the gas and don't take it off. Kyrie Irving with the score. And then Patty Mills, another three. Cam Thomas attacking the rim with some ferocity and coming away with a bucket. Ain't nothing funny, by the way. And then Irvin using his left. Nasty game Kyrie got. 26-7-6 for Kyrie Irvin. Another day at the office as the Brooklyn Nets take care of business at home. They win again. They beat the Lakers 121-104. Kyrie Irving is not surprised one bit that LeBron James, his former teammate, remains great. Following the Nets win over the Lakers, Kyrie said, I definitely saw this when we were playing together. His ability to prepare himself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, game to game, day to day. I've been on record of saying it's hard to be LeBron James or any superstar or any entertainment, sport, athletic, or business industry because all eyes are on you, but he's handled it extremely well. We gave the keys to the whole entire business to an 18-year-old kid, and now he's 38 years old, and he's still dominating. I don't think we should be surprised. I think we should congratulate and celebrate him as much as possible, continue to enjoy the show that he put on because it's not going to be here for too much longer. Whenever he decides to play, I'm enjoying the show, and I wish we could have gotten a chance to play against one another, but who knows if that will happen down the line. You know, I remain true, and, and I, I will say this to my dying of days. LeBron James and Dwayne Wade were actually not a great fit. They were not a great basketball fit. It took them pretty much half of a year and Dwayne Wade stepping back to say, all right, this your team, Bron. And then they got the groove in. I would have liked to see LeBron James and Chris Bosh play together. No Dwayne Wade. Because I do believe that could have been a fantastic duo versus a trio. And look, nobody's mad. Miami got the four straight finals and won two of them bad boys. But Dwayne Wade and LeBron were never a perfect mesh. I can't really say what LeBron and Chris Bosh would have been because they never just played together without Dwayne Wade being there as well. LeBron and Kevin Love, I saw that without Kyrie. It was good, not great. LeBron really dominated towards the end uh, of, of that dynamic. It wasn't really about Kevin Love. LeBron and Anthony Davis are really good, but Anthony Davis's injuries have just stolen what could have been LeBron's best teammate. When we talk about LeBron and Kyrie, I will say this to my dying of days. That was the best mesh that LeBron has had as a teammate. LeBron and Kyrie, look, you can say everything you want uh, off the court. Why you think LeBron was so mad when the Cavaliers decided to trade LeBron, uh, Kyrie Irving? LeBron wanted Kyrie to come to training camp. He was like, bro, don't trade him. Let me talk to him. Like, he knows what they are together. LeBron and Kyrie Irving were special on the court. And I would have liked to seen a couple more years of that together. They could have got one or two more championships in Cleveland together. But things happen. The business is the business. Egos are real. People get emotions involved. It's just life. That's life. But I just want to say this. As Kyrie Irving shows a lot of love to LeBron, the guy that, that LeBron played the best with in his career, out of all these great players that he played with, and he's played with a good amount of great players, 
It's Kyrie, and it ain't even close.